Okay, here we are doing the 3.0, 3.0 liter uh, timing belt job. We're just getting into it. You got to take this splash cover off. We're in the wheel well here. Take the tire off. Take that splash cover off. And then we've already removed the serpentine belt, which you can easily do with this thing called a dynamic tensioner. So that it doesn't have an adjustment really, it just self-adjusts. So you just take a socket and maybe a breaker bar on the end of it with a ratchet and uh, just take your pin and um, loosen it. It's up in here, but you loosen that ten the tension and slip the belt off. The other belt comes off fairly straightforward by just taking the idler um, tension adjustment off, which is right here. I'll show you. That's it. You just take the whole bracket out. There's two bolts in the front. Mounts like that. This one right here, I think, is 13 millimeters. This one here, you have to loosen as well. That's uh, 15 millimeters. And these are all 15 millimeters. So it mounts like that. There's two on the front and two on the back. They're pretty long bolts, actually. But they do come out. You just have to work with them a little bit. It's a pretty tight working space there. Now, once you got that off, and the serpentine belt off, which I told you is really quite easy once you have this first belt off. Then you run into this, uh, how do you get this? This is a two-piece pulley. You probably can't see it, but there's a, you probably can't see it, but there's a gap between the front pulley, which does the air conditioner, and the back pulley, which you can see there for the serpentine belt. So it's a two-piece unit. First, you loosen all these bolts around. Those are, I think, uh, 12 millimeter. It's kind of nice to have these sizes ahead of time. You can line up your tools. And then what I did, they tell you can get a chain wrench and uh, use a cloth and put it around here, and then you loosen the center bolt. But what I did was actually took two of these out, loosened the other ones up as far as I could without being loose and then just slip it in between the two, this long screwdriver in between the two pulleys like that.